Wine TV. I'm your host Mark Fusco here for another episode of the show and uh, I'm going to do a little rosé action here. Alright, so we've got the uh, Folia Du 2008 Menage a Trois California Rosé Wine. Uh, got this for $8.99 at World Market. Uh, now this rosé, um, interestingly enough, is a blend of Syrah, Merlot, and Gewürztraminer to keep into their theme of the Menage a Trois brand of having three grape varietals in their um, wine. Don't think I've ever had a rosé with these exact varietals, so we'll see how it is. Put a little more in there. Now, rosés, uh, you need to remember, are um, uh, wines that they are usually made of red grapes, though this one does have a white grape in it. Um, and the skins are uh, have very limited contact with the juice. Now, um, when I did go to the website, they did say that uh, I think it was for 24 hours that the Merlot and Syrah grape skins are in contact with the juice. So just enough to give it that pink hue. Not a lot. I mean, there's a, there was a little bit of there's a little bit of stink in there, but not really. I think it was more of the fact that I was hoping to find some of that from like like your typical Grenache rosé from uh, from France, but from Rome and uh, that area. But I don't really get much at all. I don't know. Maybe it tastes better. Well, it's definitely got a little bit of sweetness to it. But it's a hint. It's, it's actually somewhat dry, but it's a little hot right in the middle of the tongue. Um, I'm really getting the heat on it. Yes, I know we're at uh, room temperature and all that. 13 and a half alcohol. The flavors seem really muted. You know, I almost, it, it might be partially because I'm drinking a, a pink wine, but I almost feel like I'm, I'm sucking on one of those watermelon hard candy things, except it's not as sweet as those watermelon, like it looks like a hint. You get a little bit of that, you get a little bit of the flavoring of watermelon, but not much else, you know. Um, it's okay. I don't think it's really... That's Pressman, by the way. Um, I don't think it's really horrible, but I, I don't think it's, um, I don't know, I probably wouldn't rush out and, and get it. And it's not that I don't like rosés. I do like rosés, but I guess I have a preference. This is not that preference of, a, of the style I like. Yeah, 
I'm personally not a fan of this. You might like it, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, it's not um, a rosé that I would gravitate towards. Um, for me, it's an 83-point wine. It's nothing... Uh, I, I wouldn't buy it again. For, for personally, I wouldn't buy it again. But, um, you know, it's not... It's not like I'm telling you don't ever buy this. It's not that bad. It's not horrible wine. It's just not for me. However, I was really hoping it was going to be pretty good. So I know the other Menage probably had a really light, and I was hoping I would like this. Um, you know, and, and rosé wines don't get a lot of uh, a lot of attention. We are starting to get into the time of the year that rosés um, are are thought of again. We're getting into the end of spring. Well, not really at the end of spring yet, but uh, we're actually in the beginning of spring. So we're in that spring time area, but um, getting closer to summer. So I think that uh, uh, it's a it's a style of wine that you want to look for, and you know you're gonna have everything from really really dry to somewhat sweet, semi sweet rosés. So uh, if you have a particular style, you like stick with that. All right. So what else? I hope everyone had a great weekend. And um, as always, just uh, make sure you contribute. Uh, there's many ways to contribute with, uh, with the website. You're, you've got the PayPal uh, donation buttons on the bottom. You do a one-time donation. You know, give, send a donation for $8.99. Uh, or you can do the $5 a month subscription plan. Uh, if you want to be executive producer, you get 50 bucks. And the next show that happens after the... Um, after the... Uh, after the contribution is done uh, you be the executive producer of that particular show and uh, you know friend me up Twitter Facebook iTunes subscribe to that uh, working on more distribution I also added iFood TV uh, this past week um, so all the shows not all but some of the shows are on there right now I have to go through my back catalog and eventually get everything up there so I'll eventually work on that. Mevio, I've set up the feed. Hopefully by today, this this show, um, it's all pulled. It's pulled all the all the shows from the RSS feed. If not, I'll just have to just manually upload um, all the things. Maybe I'll pull the most recent stuff and I'll have to manually upload the old things. Let's see what else. Do I have anything else going on distribution wise with video? I don't think so. And uh, again, I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. Hope you have a great week. Um, I should have had California up by now for Sommelier School, but it's very possible it will be up like tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, uh, California's going to be two, two parts, so I may have had part one last week. We'll definitely have part two this week if I got part one up last week. Let's see. I think that's going to be it. We'll see everybody again on Wednesday. <laughs>